Hey friend, hope you're having a fantastic day so far. As always, I'm Dave from Dave the Spreadsheet Guy. And in this video, we're gonna give you the guided tour to Microsoft Excel. So if you're new to spreadsheets or if you haven't used them very much, hopefully this video will give you a bit more of a familiarization into the layout of Excel. Okay, so when you fire up Excel for the first time, you get brought to this welcome screen. And it is quite welcoming. It's got a nice little message at the top here, good evening. So it kind of makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside from the start. <laughs> okay, you've got three buttons on the left here. You've got the Home button, the New button, and the Open button. Let's quickly fly through these, so I don't want to bore you. The templates at the top here, these are templates, okay. So nine times out of ten, you're going to be using the blank workbook if you're here, okay. You're going to want to kick off a fresh new spreadsheet. Other than that, you've got these other templates on the right here. Now these are templates from Microsoft themselves. Uh, they show you different functions within Excel. Basically, it's like a guided tour that Microsoft offer, which is great. Um, and I thoroughly recommend having a look at those as well. Plus any other videos. Remember, this project is all about helping you use Excel in the best way for you. So any experience, any knowledge you can pick up inside or outside of this channel, thoroughly recommend going for it. Okay, there are other templates available, but we'll look at those in the next section. At the bottom here, you've got recent spreadsheets that you've had open, okay? So if you're working on a spreadsheet quite regularly, this is a good way to instantly just jump into a spreadsheet without having to search for it in your filing system. You've got pinned spreadsheets. So you'll see here spreadsheet one. It's got a little pin next to it where I've pinned it. That's where you can mark up your favorite spreadsheets. So you can look at your pinned list and get to those quite quickly as well. So if you've got a spreadsheet that you open, say, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you probably want that in your pinned because it's there, it's quick access, works for you. Okay, the third option we've got is shared with me. This is where one of your colleagues or one of your friends has shared a spreadsheet with you on the cloud, maybe OneDrive or something like that. And this is where you'll see those spreadsheets. Okay, I'm gonna jump down to open. Now open is where you can open a spreadsheet that's previously been saved on your computer or on your server or on the cloud. Okay, and then you've got new. Now if I click on new, this is where you'll find not just a blank workbook template, which you normally click, but you can find a varied sort of host of other templates available to you as well. We've mentioned the ones from Microsoft Excel, which are great, but you've also got things like calendars, you've got invoices here, you've even got a schedule, a work schedule. You know, people have created these templates so that you don't have to. So if you're short of time and you want to quickly get access to a template, you can use search up top here, or you can search by different categories to find a template that's right for you. But for this instance, we're gonna click on blank workbook. But before we do, it's worth mentioning, down the bottom left-hand corner here, you've got three other options. You've got account, which will show you all the details about your Microsoft account. You've got feedback, where you can send feedback to Microsoft about Excel. So if you've got good things to say, bad things to say, it will help Microsoft turn Excel into a, a more well-rounded product that you'll be happy to work with. Finally, you've got options. Now options is where you can switch certain things on, switch certain things off. I tend to leave that alone. There's only a couple of options that I normally change. But have a look in there, you know, if there's anything that appeals to you, give it a try. But for now, we're gonna click on blank workbook and that'll take us to our nice new blank spreadsheet. Now the first thing you'll notice is all this white space, okay? Now, this is only a short, sort of small selection of what's available in this spreadsheet. There are 17 billion, just over 17 billion different cells within one spreadsheet. If you bring another tab in like so, you've got 17 billion, that turns it to 34 billion. You can see that the space that you have to work with is massive, okay? And you can put data in here, you can put formulas, numbers, calculations, all sorts of different stuff. Now each of these cells has got a reference. So I've clicked on this cell here you'll see here this is cell D8 as it says in the name box. Okay, that's referenced by column D and row eight. If I click in this cell, this is B5. 
column B, row five. Okay, so this is all fundamental stuff with regards to cell referencing. Um, to make up the 17 billion cells, you'll see on the left here we've got rows that start at number one. But if we go to the very bottom, you see that it goes to over a million rows. Okay, that's quite a lot. Okay, and then at the top here you've got column references. So you start at column A, and as I go across the spreadsheet, you'll see we go from A to Z. And then when we get to Z, we go to AA. And then when we get to AZ, we go to BA. So you can see how the letters build up with the column references. But that goes all the way across to XFD, just to give you an idea of the scale of the size that we have within one particular sheet. Okay, that's the canvas sorted out. So you can see we've got lots of space and places to work with. If we move up to the ribbons at the top here, okay. Now the ribbons are, that's another word for menu. It's the technical term for menu. So you've got the home menu, insert, page layout, etc. Lots of different functions within each ribbon as well to play with. There will be future videos which cover all these different functions. But for here, for example, we've got the font section where you can have bold font or italic font, or you can underline your font and put different colors in place. So there's a wealth of different tools available to you within each ribbon. Next thing to look at is this file ribbon, if you like, over here on the left. If I give that a click, it gives you all the different file operations within Excel. So if you're wondering how to save your work, here we go, this is the save button. We've already looked at new and open, by the way. Save as will let you save the current document as a fresh version. Print, well, that's where you go if you want to print your document. Share, export, publish, they all allow you to share your spreadsheet with other people, whether it be attaching it to an email, putting it out into the cloud, um, or saving it as a PDF, whatever you want to do. Those options will let you do that. And then you've got to close, so that's where you close the current spreadsheet that you're working on. Okay, but if you click at the back button at the top here, do you really want to go into that file menu each time you want to do one of those operations? Probably not. That's where the quick access toolbar comes in, okay? And that's this beast at the top here. So at the moment, my quick access toolbar has only got one item in it. It's the new shortcut, okay? But you can add other shortcuts into it. Click on this little down arrow, and you'll see it comes up with a pre-populated list of different options that you can add into your quick access toolbar. So I like open, there you go, so that's brought open in. I like to be able to save. Uh, I'd like to be able to print preview, so it shows me what I'm going to print in advance, and then from there you can print. Okay, so you can bring all these different options in here. Automatically save is a good one as well. It allows you to switch auto save on or off. Now, if you've got a computer that crashes every now and again, or a network that is prone to uh, maybe causing you issues, auto save is great because it stops you from losing your work. Okay, so definitely worth bringing that one in. You can bring more advanced functions in as well. You're not just restricted to what's in this list. You can go to more commands at the bottom here and you can select any of these options and add them and they will appear over here on the right in your list of quick access toolbar options. So if I wanted, let's have a look, Format Painter in my quick access toolbar, I'd select it as I have and click on add and that brings it across into that list. Then if I click OK, you'll see that Format Painter at the top here has been added to my Quick Access Toolbar. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, it's just a quick familiarization of the layout, which I hopefully have given you. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Um, if not, then we'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a good day, guys. Take care.